Welcome to a tutorial about stuffing nutmeg, the gnome from Adve the adventure gnome pattern from Imagine Landscapes Designs. We stuff gnomes in multiple stages. So the first stage is uh, to stuff the hat. Often I recommend stuffing things in different um, in different uh, densities. So the hat can be stuffed more lightly than the body, um, it, for instance, in this one. So we're going to use um, small pieces and we're not going to worry about trying to get up into this tip very much at all. If you can get stuff to this white stripe here, for instance, that's great. If you can't get it quite there and you're sort of here, that's fine. This um, iPods or iPod. This iCord stripe is meant to fold over, so we're not trying to stuff for um, for stiffness. So I recommend taking small pieces when you stuff a gnome. And the reason for this is that if we stump, stuff two big lumps, if you think about this lump and this lump, can you see how there's air gaps there? Whereas if we were to stuff lots of little lumps those gaps fill in. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So I'm going to take some small lumps and especially for this first little bit, we're going to go quite small. When I stuff, I like to place my gnome over the needles over my fingers, kind of like I hold them in a C shape and then I just brace them there. This is a little hard uh, sometimes with uh, doing the hat because I have to get so deep. So in this case, I'm just going to kind of push the hat against my fingers here and just see what we can do. When we're stuffing this first layer, what we don't want to do is have the stuffing so, um, so pushed that we get kind of a rounded look. We still want to have a triangular look to the top of this hat. So just be careful when you're stuffing that you don't sort of flatten that top. All right, so we're gonna just keep stuffing in. I'm gonna take, as I said, quite small pieces at the top here. And now I'm gonna get a little wider. One of the things you always wanna watch for when stuffing a toy is that you never wanna stuff so much that you start to distort the stitches and stretch them out. You always wanna have it so that this, the, the stuffing isn't visible. All right, that's like one of our number one goals is to hide the stuffing part of things. As the hat gets bigger, what you can do is as you get in is to kind of take your fingers and spread them out so that you're stuffing almost in flat layers rather than, um, ooh, look at me dropping a stitch almost there. That one's almost off. That one did come off, but I can just knit that up when I'm done. All right, so you're just gonna kind of stretch it out because that way um, it just sort of, it like um, almost like you're, you're recreating the stripes, if that makes sense. And now that we're getting a little wider, I can take bigger pieces, but still not big, big pieces. And as I go, I'm carefully feeling with my hands to feel where it's lumpy and bumpy. And, and I'm kind of like the inner hand and the outer hand are kind of pressing against each other so that we can feel for lumps, feel for open spaces and sort of fill in the gaps without ever overstuffing or um, creating uh, funny shapes. Um, we, can, we can always do a little bit afterwards as well, but that's sort of what we're looking for. Um, I did not block my hat. Um, I did not steam my hat. I went, uh, I lived wild and, and crazy with this one because I was pretty sure that the yarn was looking good. So that's reassurance for those of you who chose not to stuff the hat or uh, steam or block. Um, it's really not necessary with uh, a plain stockinette nutmeg, depending on, of course, your yarn. All right, so we're mostly stuffed the reason we don't keep stuffing the body, the reason we take a break, is that in general, the more we stuff, the more awkward the knitting gets. So we need to stuff before we close the body much more so that we can get down in, but we do wanna pause, give ourselves the lack of weight and stiffness, the flexibility to kind of knit comfortably forward, which I will do, and then I'll pause the video and come back when it's time for step two. And we're back, I've knit a little bit more. The body is now down to 40 stitches, which is where we started. Actually, when we picked up, we were down to, we started with 40, we're back to 40. So now we're going to stop and knit up to the stripe. 
so or not knit up to the stripe we're gonna stuff and stuff up to the stripe this is way too much but it's amazing how much stuffing uh, a stuffy can take um so we're just going to take again small amounts stuff in uh, make sure that things are connecting nicely with your hat you don't want to leave a little gap there so just make sure that as you go in everything makes sense and you're sort of filling in um, kind of use your hands to smooth things out don't take one big ball and stuff it in as I've mentioned that will tend to get you a lump in the future alrighty stuff the body a bit more firmly than the hat but you don't have to um, we are going to be adding weighted stuffing there are lots of options for weighted stuffing I'm using plastic poly pellets but I would like to switch to a non-plastic version once my supply runs out uh, you'll notice in the pattern I list some other things that are not plastic like aquarium gravel or other things like that um, Weighted stuffing is just really great because it just helps them sit, especially when we stuff the hats. Um, they have a higher center of gravity when the hats are stuffed, and so the weighted stuffing makes a really big difference just to keep them on their bums and not tipping over. Um, so that is not quite enough. I want to stuff till just, just about uh, up to and including the stripe for this. Um, got all sorts of removable stitch markers this is the one that notes the beginning of round this is the one that also notes the beginning of the round from the hat and then I've got the one for the stitch we marked over there so if you're wondering what those are those are just the, from the pattern um, I can probably take this one off but all right so we're stuffed up to about there it's gonna look kind of crazy and silly um, but we can do some some last minute rearranging um, nutmeg was designed to have a very rounded body so when you're stuffing try to get a nice sphere as you go don't don't make a don't make them too bumpy or anything like that I mean do what you want it's your gnome if you love it go for it but in terms of the intention of this uh, nutmeg is meant to kind of end up with a very circular and spherical shape all right I have a tiny bit of knitting to do and then we will add the weighted stuffing all right we've knit a little bit further close things up that little bit more and now what we want to do is just kind of make sure our stuffing is down where it we wanted it which is roughly in line with that block of that stripe and now what we're going to do is we're going to add the weighted stuffing so to do this I like to make a c-shape with my hand and then prop the needle somehow across that and then just slowly scoop and add if you have a funnel this is a great time for a funnel um, but uh, we're just going to add it up uh, again we don't want to distort things um, and the one of the reasons why stuffing the body a little more firmly can be great is because then it doesn't try to sort of um, squash what we're doing down in the in the the body um, with this but let's just add some and then uh, we'll, we'll give it a little lid one thing you will notice is that it kind of gets stuck up and you have to kind of push it in and help it rearrange a little bit um, that's totally normal you're not doing anything wrong um. I'm making such a mess today oh my goodness I think it's because I know I'm in a room safe from the cats and every little sound isn't gonna bring them skittering over to see if there's a, a mouse to attack all right so things are looking pretty good I'm going to add a bit more
All right, so one of the things is not to stuff it all the way to the top because it's really easy to keep kind of stretching as you do this. And so what we're going to do to sort of make a lid is take a piece of fluffy stuffing and sort of make a sort of plate shaped flat circle with it and just tuck it in around the top so that as we work the last little bit, those, those uh, weighted stuffings don't try to jump out. Okay, um, we are just gonna do a couple really quick decreases and be done. Um, and uh, because we've kind of closed this up, we can actually take a moment to see how this is looking. Does it kind of set it down? Now the, the DPNs or the other needles may give it more stability than it would normally have. But you can see, because if it's already really trying to tip over, that probably means that you need to stop, take the stuffing out, take the weighted stuffing out, take a little bit of the fluffy stuffing out and add more weighted stuffing. Um, but I feel like the center of gravity is doing pretty well for mine. I'm pretty happy with this. So I will go on, finish up, and I will see you for the next tutorial. In the meantime, happy gnoming.